Good evening, Plano East, students, teachers, administration, families, and friends. It is a great honor for me to welcome you to the Plano East Senior High School graduation for the class of 2017. All of us in this room have different backgrounds and different experiences, different stories, and different, <laughs> different dreams. But one commonality is shared by all. It is that we owe a deep debt of gratitude to the community at Plano East for the opportunities we have been given. We realize that we have been reared with opportunities few people in this world have. We realize that there are certain hardships we have not faced, certain struggles we have not had to endure, and certain challenges we have not had to overcome, simply because of where we live. There are places in this world, even in our country, where children grow up without clean water, without safety, without access to quality education. And it's humbling to realize that if we simply lived in a different city, state, or nation, we may not have those things, and our futures would look very different than ours do right now. We, the graduating class of 2017, owe a deep debt of gratitude to the people who have made our community so full of opportunity. And so right now, I'd like to give you guys an opportunity to show your gratitude and your appreciation. Seniors, please stand. Turn to face your families and your friends. Find your families. And now students, seniors, let's give our family and friends a round of applause. When I enrolled in public school in ninth grade after homeschooling for six years, I had already learned a very important lesson. I knew from experience to never let anyone or anything dissuade me from pushing past my limits. And I knew to never be afraid of failure. We've all experienced it. Failure is uncomfortable. But the lesson I learned is that it's necessary to give yourself permission to fail. As the saying goes, you've got to be willing to do what others won't do to have what others won't have. You've got to be willing to fail. If you don't fail, it's because you haven't tried hard enough. And there is no feeling worse than the realization that you've let fear dictate your future. No feeling worse than the realization that you've missed your chance. I learned very early on that fearing failure could rob me of the opportunity to succeed. During my middle school years, I was a competitive cyclist. And for years, my dream was to compete at the Junior Track Cycling National Championships and win a gold medal. I trained with a cycling coach on a 12-month progressive program, riding indoors and out in the summer heat and the pouring rain, putting in hours each day. Even in middle school, the field is pretty competitive. There were kids who were riding 60 to 70 miles every three days, supplemented by grueling sprints cross-training exercises and weight training exercises. The only way to succeed in a, in a field that is that competitive is to train harder, train smarter, and dream bigger. And so every day I envisioned myself racing at nationals and that dream fueled me. A few months before my family was set to take me to nationals, my training plan was interrupted. When my coach had to move out of state, and I started training with a new coach. His advice to me was to not compete that year because I might be disappointed. And so I stayed home. I didn't go. And when Nationals came, I watched on the live video feed my competitors, riders I'd raced alongside, riders I'd beaten in some cases, stand on the national podium and receive national titles. It was a punch to the gut that I have never forgotten that I had so easily let someone tell me I would fail, and I believed him. 
I failed because I feared failure. You might think as I tell this story that it's a sad story, but it's the reason I'm standing here today. It taught me that fear is just the feeling that stands between you and your dreams. As Will Smith says, the best things in life are on the other side of terror. I could not be more grateful for that lesson, for giving me the strength to overcome my fear of failure. It is the reason that in 23 days, I will be reporting to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Many of you will continue your education at a college or at a university. Many of you will start a new job. A few of you will begin your service to our nation in our military. I have full faith that each one of you, regardless of the path you choose, has the potential to achieve your dream. Whatever path you take, take with you this one life lesson. Reach high, embrace failure, even be grateful for it, because the dreams you have for your future, the dreams you, that keep you up at night can only be achieved if you face your fears and you conquer them. We are all fortunate by virtue of the lottery of our birth to have been gifted an education from one of the finest schools in the nation, perhaps the finest. To the graduates of Plano East, take with you the gifts your parents and teachers have given you and take on your biggest dreams. Believe anything is possible. Don't let anyone discourage you from trying. And above all, don't let the fear of failure get in the way of you achieving that dream that keeps you up at night. Thank you.